There we go. Uh, I guess we'll just hit A. There we go. Hello, everyone. And welcome to Moonlighter. Something Cole shows out. <laughs> Cole's gonna be in and out this entire stream. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I've played this to, I wouldn't say completion. Also, the internet's already died, by the way. Or at least the bitrate did. <laughs> it went from 3,000 to zero real quick. Oh no, this is going to be lovely, isn't it? We might not even, uh... Uh, god, if this happens, if this keeps happening in 20 minutes, we'll scrap, we're scrapping the stream, how about that? Yeah, Fair th enough. This is Moonlighter. Uh, it's ro roguelite from what I remember. Uh, I finished this two years ago. Uh, so we'll see how much I remember of it. Yeah, you can see I put in 10 hours and 18 minutes into <laughs> back in never mind this was no this was about two years ago two years three months so we're gonna do regular game we're not gonna do new game plus because I rather enjoy my time here you know what that's that's fair. <laughs> Uh, so I, I know I know like general information about this game, but I'm still relatively like you've seen play this. That's, about, that's also that's all I know. I saw you play it, it a little bit. Like how long ago did you say? Like two years ago? Two years, three months. Gotcha. Yeah, no, and I have very poor memory. So, here's the thing. Do I want to do normal for story, hard, which is the recommended, or very hard? I like that there's no easy. It's normal, hard, or very hard. I'm going to do probably hard. We can always change it, but I'd rather just keep the uh, difficulty constant. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Also, very, very creative name. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. They named it R Rhinoka? Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest. Heroes and merchants, glory and riches. The dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Can you open my bitrate to larger than <laughs> larger than trash? But it's not allowed, Sam. So here we are. Uh, we get thrown in immediately. I have a broom, which... I can't use, I guess. Oh, okay, I just broke that thing. Uh, left trigger is to dodge roll. I doesn't look like we have stamina. And we can dodge roll through enemies. Also dodge roll through bullets. Come after me, I got this. We get chest.
chest, which is nice. Isn't there like a... Here's a quick move. Oh, quick move. All is left bumper. All right. <laughs> I don't know why the idea that we're just going through this entire area with a broom is funny to me. <laughs> well. So I, so I'm gonna be honest. I kind of know what's supposed to happen here. So I'm just gonna take it like a man. God, you guys suck. There we go. You're, you're supposed to die there. I think there's no going forward. Because then the game starts. What a sorry looking kid. Well, that's just rude. I'll load now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Got some drawings around here. Oh. <laughs> there is no doubt, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could ch manage? I almost said chew. Because that's, you, you know, usually the saying. Yeah. <laughs> Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. The game almost crashed. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Joke's on you, old man. <laughs> Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. But the broom is all powerful. It's mine from back in the day. There is actually an achievement for beating all the bosses with the broom. Yeah. I like this idea. You should do that. No. It's mine from back in the day. I tried. Use it. I have little need for it now. He gives us a sword and a shield. I personally like the gold and uh, silver better, but... Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that... I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. It was a card. I went to say dark and I went to say cold and the card one came out as this card. <laughs> card. Card. Oh, we actually... Did we actually get to keep everything that I grabbed? Successful selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow customers in. No. Okay, fine. So this game is really, but it's also, uh, capitalism. Did you see that? Best expression you can I hope for. Money? The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Uh, I'm gonna assume this one's gonna be anger. But 
Goodbye, sir. I don't think I need to tell you how the item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on Discover Wares and Artifacts. My bag just dropped down to, uh, five. Oh, because it had... Oh, gotcha. So yeah, these are every... What do you want me to do? Oh, okay. It would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I miss it off. You'll pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. It's just... Don't dive too far, and use that pendant, boy. If I remember correctly, the pendant uses money. Even... Oh, okay. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. I, I want to put my stuff away. How dare you? Nope, you're not allowed. Oh, so why is A... Why is A attack? Ah. Uh -huh. So yeah, we have here five dungeons. Of course, we can only go into the one, though, so... Time to get to the uh, roguelite experience of this. There is literally nothing here. Okay, the sword is actually quite nice. Ow, okay. Got it, let that guy swing and then dash. I hear a lot of button mashing during this game, by the way. Hello, sir. Is it going to be fast button mashing? It depends on how desperate I am. To a person of hopefully far better okay. luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called crazy. Said old Crazy Pete done done and lost his marbles. But I was right! Each Guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. Whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. The diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Ryanoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Oh. I gotta check this body. Big boss gonna kill me! I supposed to let them all out? Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, Big Boss gonna be upset with me, with little me. Ooh, Ooh thanks for a loop. Yeah, so it costs money to teleport back. Am I... 
I have the broom still. Alright, uh, I guess it's forcing me, because I can't open the map. Because I'm hitting select and it's just not working. So, this is what the pendant does. Go town. This stream's gonna have the exact same quality as the cube stream did. I am noticing that. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where'd you get this? You... you found old Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon, and oh. look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, but did revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. I'm gonna be swapping probably between the two pronunciations of Renoka and Rhinoka. Nice indeed. I didn't even realize that you were saying two different things. We only have a hundred gold to our name, sir. A hundred monies. Uh, so town, but we can invest. So Vulcan's Forge is five hundred gold. The wooden hat is also five hundred gold. But we can also do shop upgrades, which are thousand, like thousands of gold, per. Uh, I'm curious, which is always an issue. Uh, I guess what I want to check. Hello. Oh, they just showed me the paper I grabbed. Yeah, I knew we had this. Which I'm gonna quick move all into here. And we're gonna try going back to... Ooh, should I? Oh, uh, what's up? I'm trying to think if I should go back to the dungeon, but I just realized we don't have enough money to get back if I try. Ooh. I think we might want to sell things first. So, what I'm going to do is uh, replace this at, well, let's do 130. Let's see if that's cheap enough. Uh, we'll do another crystallized energy. Basically, move all this back except for this, because I know this gets used for potions later. Can I, like... Okay, I can quick, please. Oh, right, I forgot you could stack these two. Uh, and then I guess we'll do ten of... Things we have multiple of, and we'll do, like... 150 for each of them. See where that lands us. Nope, that's... Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Forgot it, forgot it does that. <laughs> uh, we'll do 100 for each. See where that lands us. Probably not in the great, a great spot, but, you know, we'll, I'm willing to try. And we'll sleep. And it's now January 3rd. I forgot what day I ended this off on in my last playthrough. But now, that's daytime, we can open up the store. Hello, sir. That is my window. Okay. Got it. A hundred is way too much for this. Uh, we'll bump it down to fifty. Uh, 
Uh, 130 is too much for this. We'll bump it down to 110. Okay, they really didn't like the pricing so far. 20 and we'll just bump this down to 20. Let me guess, you're not going to like this either. Yep, okay. They're very angry with me at the moment. <laughs> Let's just bump them all down to 20, see where we get. Really? 20 is still too much for sticks. How about 10? Okay, even 10 is too much for sticks. How about 7? Let me just bump down. $7. Just bump these down to 10 too. Hello. Can you spend seven bucks on a stick? Uh, is it a quality stick? I don't know. I'm not the one selling them. Well. Question is, who is? Exactly. Let me try and sell these. Let me try and. No, I don't either. Let me try and sell <laughs> these bars for 120. Okay, this. Okay. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. He was about to buy these and he didn't buy them because I swapped the price on him in my second. Whoops. Really? Alright, what if I knock this down to. Not, yeah, knock it down by a dollar, that'll work. All right, five bucks for those pieces are, is an all right price, apparently. Something tells me I'm gonna wanna like do the same thing here. Not that much. Oh, let's go for seven, let's see how. That's gonna annoy some people. <laughs> it's not a not a z value of zero or five at the end. It's a it's a nine. Okay, you got it. So this has to be marked down. Okay, that wood was more expensive than I was selling it for. Good to know. sell these I guess oh these are also need to be marked down hello sir how are you doing <laughs> really that's still, still too much for these bars I guess let's go for 50 what 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 are they bars of it, it looks like metal. <laughs> Wait, how much are you selling them for? I was selling them for a hundred. The crystals were a huh. hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's iron. <laughs> Literally called an iron I... bar. Yeah, that... Huh. Uh, let's go for like 70 on this one. And let's go for like... 120 on these. And then we'll just throw these in here. 100. Okay, sold the fabric for too little. 
They're still upset about the iron bar, and I put it at 50. Are you upset about that too? Christ. Alright. Uh, we'll send this down to 80 then. What, is this like worth 30? Maybe? What are you looking at? 30 was even a little too much. Uh, but 100 for those was... Oh, okay. Sure. Don't you love logic? Alright, sir, you're gonna have to get out because I don't have anything logic. else to sell. Logic isn't logic logicking. 1089, though, isn't bad. Meanly, uh, now we can go ahead and buy... Uh, I'm gonna buy the forge first. Because this will help us get both weapons and armor. What do I have in my inventory? Oh, it's probably kind of the potions. Hi. Hey, you must be well, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, forge master extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Okay, so I need four fabric, two of something I've never gotten, and three... Uh... Three... I forgot what those are called. For like, Foundry Rest, I think is what they were. Uh, and then I need Iron Bars, those things, the Foundry Rests. And I'm thinking, what weapon should we go for? What weapons are there? There's a bow, gloves, a spear, uh, a long sword, and the sword shield. Uh, this, the only thing I could say is that the spear acts like the broom. Uh... What should we go for? Oh, there's also, like, multiple pieces of armor. Is there multiple pieces of armor, or is this like... What are the, what's the benefit of these? Oh, wait a minute. Are these... Yeah, this is a bandana, this is a helmet, so these are headpieces. This is... So you can go for speed and health, just health, more health and less speed, is what it kind of seems to be. Gotcha. I think speed might be the best thing to go for. Just don't get hit. <laughs> they can't hit what they can't see. So yeah, we can't... Nice thing we can do is uh, we can add things to a wish list, and it'll help us uh, later and being like, hey, you need these items to uh, upgrade your stuff later. That is something this game adds. What weapon do you think? Um, sword and shield, big sword, spears, gloves, or bows? Uh... Probably a sword and shield. I'm gonna be honest with you, we might have a tunic situation. You know what, let's go with big sword. <sighs> I, 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 I forgot, yeah, I don't I don't really use shields in video games either. So big swords also decreases my speed. Alright, uh, gloves? Uh, yeah, I don't see any 
uh, downside the gloves. So mark that on our wish list. All right, we're going. <laughs> Get rid of that. I'm joking. <laughs> All right. Uh, you ready to go back to the dungeons? It's already right. been half an hour. We've gone to the dungeon once. And didn't we, didn't we spawn there as well? The, yeah, but that wasn't us going to it. That was us existing. And then dying. Oh, Alright. So, I am a person who... Oh, the bird. I regret being here already. Oh, does this stuff not hurt? Okay, sorry, I'm getting- I'm already used- Oh, right. Something I should talk about. Uh, sometimes you'll get this where items have... Uh... Specific requirements. As well, indicated by the symbol on the top right of them. This left- this two, uh, horizontal bars means that the item has to be placed on the left or the right of the bag. Let me just go. Ow. Gotta be careful about what we're doing. I keep using- this is gonna be really bad because I got so used to Tunic having- being, uh, A to O. That is not what it is in this game. A to what? Roll. Ah, uh, roll. Don't Didn't mind. you say A is to attack? Uh-huh. Oh boy. You can tell how much of trouble I'm having with that concept right now uh, by the fact that I've already messed up twice. I can introduce a concept to you, but I know that you won't like it and probably won't do it. Yeah, I don't think you can change controls on this game if that's what you're about to suggest. Well, look at my idea. Can you read? Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Okay, so this is a little bit of a hot spring. Uh, you can use it to heal up, basically. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because we still got a little bit left to explore. Oh, it's, uh... I mean, that makes sense from a gameplay perspective, but our hot spring is limited, I'm guessing, though? Yes. Gotcha. <sighs> well, don't remember what that did. Oh, okay, right. Some of these artifacts can actually uh, get rid of. Oh, it can't be placed there. All right. Can get rid of the stipulations on uh, items, so I can do that now. Not what I meant to do. Ow, okay, didn't realize the slime actually does damage. I mean, it makes sense, but ow. <laughs> Today marks my first step into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A deep maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, 
If no one is currently inside the dungeon, it doesn't even exist. Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for the treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold, some fame. But not I, no. It's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. We gotta go back to the hot spring. Little, little nice warm bath. Yeah, hopefully you recover the 55 health I've taken. Oh, is there max health? 100. Ah, yeah, no, that, uh, yeah. Mini. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Bruh. Yeah. Evil. I may have accidentally swapped to my, uh... God, why do we keep doing that? Okay, I tried rolling with A again, by the way. Oh. Is there even a roll in this game? Yeah, yeah. I've been using it the whole entire time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, slightly multitasking. No, I'm fine. not. <laughs> I was panicking, I apologize. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. Oh, I probably should have healed at the uh, hot spring again. Oh well. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. This is one of the strange devices that Grisha dropped when he fled. This one's rich, actually, almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so I am just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder though, where did the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? No, no you aren't. I'm gonna let you know this now. No. So yeah. Now we can get money. Uh by just by dropping stuff into there. Uh We'll go explore. In here. In here, in here. on top of me and did damage. Uh, we'll use up my potion and we'll go through here. Okay. Thanks, Ian. How do you attack? Can you not? I with the inventory full of items. How did I just get this achievement? <laughs> uh, uh, what does it mean play again? I don't remember that being an option. 
Or can you just go straight back into the dungeon? You don't have to, like... I will find out, because I've got no... Nothing else to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, alright, so we have... Yeah. This is what happens when you uh, allow Sky to make good decisions. They will be made. <laughs> Alright, let's try and uh, get back in and collect the, some of the items we've. Alright, I saw us. Okay. Y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. Y'all ready? Aliyup! Yep. <laughs> Everyone's like, Sky has lost it. And you'd be right. Because you may have seen that sparkle when we came in here, that means we can jump down. attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves? I did what any sensible person would do in this situation. It smacked it right in the back. It shared upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart. A core, as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Dropped by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment. A culture all its own. What are you about to say? Uh, for a moment I forgot that you were playing a game, and I got real confused whenever you said, Today I got attacked by a, uh, by a moving rock. Well, you don't just get attacked by rocks. No, I... Do normal occurrence for you? The dangerous mate. <laughs> What does this mean? Does it mean like you just trip over them or, like when they're on like a sidewalk? You ever or been in a rock slide? Mm, you know what? Yeah, never mind. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> my inventory is already full again. Oh my lord! This seems unfair. I break the skeleton. No, the potion! <laughs> this dungeon seems like it may have been a peaceful place at one time. Now there's a graveyard full of stone soldiers waiting for scavengers. Something I'm realizing, by the way, is that boss I beat probably won't be here anymore. Oh? Uh, because I don't... I hate when... Hello? Can I... Right, you can't go into your batteries. Got it. Uh, is there anything I want to drop? Uh, did you... We don't need the sticks. We don't need... These for anything. They don't even sell for that much. I am going to die because I keep hitting A to roll. I won't be honest, I'm kind of surprised. You know what? Never mind, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're going to do we are going to use the pendant to get back. While we're at this uh, little hot spring area. 
because we have a full inventory, I would like to go ahead and sell some stuff. Uh, as well as see as we can get, like, the weapon that I was hoping to get. Hey, mate, what's up? You look well today, Will. What can I do for you? Uh, we can't get the headband yet. Can't get the chest piece. Can't get the boots. And we can't get the gloves. Alright, cool. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, I need to write down... ...what we need. So, give me a second. Uh, we need four fabric... I'm just gonna call that stuff glowy. I don't know what exactly it is. It looks like energy, but I'm just gonna call it glowy. And three foundry rest. All right. Then we need ten more fabric, uh, equaling a total of fourteen. Already. Uh, we need eight glowy. It says six, but that's already adding on to. Can you pick the number, please? Thank you. I'm trying to type this on my phone. It's not working out that well. Uh, and six foundry rest. And something tells me that we're going to need the same materials to make this. Yeah. All right. So. Nine foundry rest. You know what? Fine. Just to appease my phone because it does not want to type it glowy because it does not exist in, as a uh, as a word uh 12 glow and 20 fabric that is how much we need for the armor and the gloves i need do I just, like, call that stuff shrapnel? I don't exactly know what it is. Four shrapnel. Uh, six bars. And... We need... Now a total of 13 foundry rest, which I'm starting to assume that's where the issue is going to come in. Oh, there's a new person here. Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to other others and come to the re retailer where you'll find the finest items in Minoka. The retailer, because life's complicated enough. <laughs> Alright. So let me drop off everything that we need. I should also say that once you get out of the uh, out of the dungeon, all the uh, stipulations on the items come off, which is quite nice. Uh, what else? Twenty? F yeah, fabric, glow, boundary rest, uh, four shrapnel. And six bars. There we go. Uh, this is everything that we need. For, I'm also going to take these out. Uh, these will be for potions later. This is just things I know that you wouldn't know in a first playthrough. So it's kind of cheating, but oh well. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead place down these bars. I'm going to put them at 200. Uh, we'll move these crystals over to here. Place them at 115. This wood I undersold, I believe. Yeah, at 7. So we'll mark it up to 20, I guess. And then these iron bars, I don't remember how much I... I think this was... 
in the air price, yeah. All right. So we'll sleep. And we will open up shop. And now welcome to the gameplay loop. You go to the dungeons during the night and then you come and sell during the day. All right, bars for 200 was too little. So we'll try 250, and then I remember that I sold these for too much, or too little. Uh, we'll hit the middle ground and go for 100, I guess, then. Alright, so this one was tw 20 is too much, 7 was too little. Uh, we'll bump it down to, I guess, like 13. All right, 100 was good for the crystals. Uh, golem cores, I don't actually know, so I guess we'll go for like 80. You know, we're jacking up the price of the golem cores. I'd rather have, I'd rather, I'd rather be greedy than get my money taken from me. Wow, 250 was even still too, uh, too cheap for the, oh god, what was it called? The metal. If that was alright, can I bump it up to six? You know, I, I, I got Moonlighter, like, a, a little bit ago. I say a little bit ago, it was, it was, it was like, back when you originally played it. Um, yes. and I, I like played a little bit into it, and then the this, I was just like too much stinky, <laughs> too Everybody. much stinky for me. Uh, what do we want to sell this one at? One fifty maybe. Seeing gold is good for the uh, wood. Okay, too much for this. We'll bump it down to 110. Okay, 100 was good for the energy cores. It's good. We're already at 3,600, that's actually quite nice. And that, what is there is our last item. Alright, cool. Alright, all y'all gotta get out now. Thirty-two fifty-eight. Uh, we're gonna go buy a store with that. Uh, how much are you? You're fifty-five hundred, buddy. You're not getting bought for a while. Christ. Uh, the reason I'm actually buying this one is because we can now buy healing potions with this. Uh, if we have the right ingredients and the correct amount of money. Oh, a customer. My apologies, it's just this book, it's so good. Okay, yes, I'm Eris, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Uh, what are enchantments? 
So we can enchant our sword. We can chant the broom. I'm good. So, yeah, if we own gel, we can buy potions. Which I'm going to go ahead and buy five. Because that is max stack. Head back into the dungeon. What do, you, what do you have to talk about, by the way? Hmm. I should probably also, yeah, because I've realized mm -hmm. that this requires the bars. Uh, I'm not actually sure which one I want to get, though. Because we might get this, we might get this. this. This one has less damage, but has an effect on it. This one just full damage what do you think what what should i go for just straight damage or see what happens with the effect it's a it's a difference of 10 damage but both of them uh both of them double the original the gloves i don't know i'm assuming that's stun um i feel like if it is if it i mean go ahead and go for the uh the effect the effect, alright, so I shouldn't have been throwing the wood away, or selling the wood, I haven't been throwing it away. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Uh, also something. This did not equip my... Oh, actually, give me... Nah, that's fine. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. Right. So, I keep forgetting that we do not have an item yet that is actually quite nice. We have the pendant, but there's another item in this game that is basically the pendant, but it's a two-way pendant, if that makes sense. Basically, we can, uh, we can use the pendant to get out. Oh, I forgot this- I, for I forgot these rooms existed. Sorry, uh, some of these rooms have the chest on, uh, slime, and it falls into the, uh, it fall the chest falls into the slime. Hey, I turn- oh my- I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I've been doing it again, I wasn't looking. If you look at my health, I think you'll get a good idea. Cause I guess what I tried doing. Well, uh, oh, you tried to dodge with A. <laughs> they are like Ooh. moss, like moss to the flame. I tell you, these adventurers. Moss. <laughs> Legend has it that the moss grows on the <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> uh, So many attracted to the dungeons. So many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out. Eventually. It's a messy ordeal. No one really knows what happens. One eventually wakes up outside the dungeon. Only small traces of slime nearby and, well, the injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight. Many looking for that big payday. There really is so much more to these dungeons, though. I just tried rolling with A again. Help me, please. is we haven't even seen the thing I'm most terrified of in this dungeon. <laughs> we'll get to that at a certain point, I'm sure of it. I'm not sure if that'll be the stream or not, but... Right. 
you think I'm going to be able to make it from here? Yes. Yoink. Quickly, I did not expect that to be honest. I should probably heal. Uh, right trigger. I tried rolling again with A. Help me. <laughs> not gonna get used to that. I was just unmuting to tell you that I believe in you. Thanks? <laughs> I should tell you. <laughs> uh, what do I get rid of? I guess these two, like I said, these don't sell for much. Dude, I think I... Did I have all the shrapnel? I definitely had all the uh, iron bars. Let me just see... Okay. We are back to level two. You know, after an hour of gameplay. Oh, I... I forgot about this one. Flying Golem Egg, I don't remember that. I'm pretty sure I need this. You, I'm just gonna sell because you have an annoying thing on you. Uh, I guess we'll take you. Uh, Crystal Rock, I kinda wanna keep. I guess we'll sell the gel. I've got enough of that. And then I guess we'll just flat out just sell this item. Why is that one so hard to attack? Sorry, it's not hard to attack, but it takes a lot of hits. Okay, so... Let's try this stack. Right, it has to be in my inventory to do this, I forgot about that. Let's take this off and hope that clears up. Okay. Not great. Not great at all. I don't know what to do with this, actually. Because I want to keep these two. I want to keep this. Because uh, this is 100. This sold for 100. This sold... Well, th I'm not really worried about how much these sold for. I need them to craft. Water spheres. I just need water lamp. Oh, God. 
Uh, insert, insert, inside joke here. I need these foundry rests is the issue. Alright. Yeah, we'll just we'll leave the bars here, I get. Eh. We won't leave them here, but I'll set, I'll throw them into the mirror to sell. I cannot catch a break, can I? I got thrown into another enemy. This is what happens when you don't play a game for two years. You suck. <laughs> nah. Got another egg. I don't know what the eggs do. Drown them out. I need to start just, once my inventory fills up, just leave. I need to start doing that. Alright, that chest has already been looted. Oh god, thank you. Know. <laughs> What's up? I know you met the enemy in the game, but I talked and you just went, oh god, not you. <laughs> what, did you what did you say? It didn't even come through. Oh, uh, I, um... Oh, I just said, how much do you have in your inventory right now? Not much at all. Because I gotcha. lost all of the items because I died. Ah, yeah, that's it. That's why I said I yeah. can't catch a break on the second floor for some reason. Gotcha. Unmask this. More fabric, always will take. Uh, and then, yeah, we can do that. I want to break the pot. Thank you. I didn't. That was just cruel. I couldn't see the. I didn't see it because, uh,. Red blood again with the red. My inventory already full. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, we don't have to worry about it now because we don't need those items, I don't think, at least. Don't mind me, just ran into the enemy. Did it again. Destroys an artifact upon returning to town. That's lovely. At least we can put it in the corner. Uh, do I even bother with this one? Because these are things we don't need.
solid mashing have you been hearing this entire time, by the way? Oh, we already read this one. So how about this? We fight the boss again, and then we leave. Instead of dying a horrible death once again. Does that sound good? Yes. go through the door because I think the if you go through the door I think every floor you uh, go down the pr price to uh, use the pendant goes up if I remember correctly so we'll leave I am standing by my word and leaving before I die again Uh, let's see what we have here, based upon my list of items we needed. Uh, we needed 12 glow, so we have that, finally. We needed 20 fabric, uh, we have 9 now, uh, we can also just drop this in here. Uh, foundry rust, we have 2. <laughs> We have the four shrapnel. Uh, I... Oh, wait. We actually have more than I thought with that. All right. We need six bars. Already did that. Uh, let me see how much... I think I needed ten of this. Let's go talk to uh people outside. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't make any of this right now because we're missing foundry rust. We would have had enough for I think two if uh I wasn't an idiot. And we need more foundry rust for this too. Lovely. Alright, yeah, we need a tent for that. This is So what we actually can do, and I think I'm going to, uh, this will be our selling chest, and I'm just gonna move everything into here. Uh, we'll go and we'll go back down into the dungeon, and it'll because it is nighttime, so we'll be able to go ahead and hopefully get more items. Hopefully? Question mark. The worst part is, in my experience, this isn't even the most annoying- like, obviously, it's the first dungeon, but this isn't the most annoying dungeon that you go through, in my opinion. So, how- how do you get to the other dungeons? By completing the one beforehand. I'm that, off to a great start. The ba like, well, what's, like, the- I guess, in- The, like, oh, in the universe about. reason on why? The in-universe reason on why we want. Sorry, you might have to <laughs> explain. That. Uh, like, like, is there like something that you get that then opens up the other uh, dungeons, or do they just 
open after you're done. I think the, if I remember correctly, the reason is that because you beat the quote unquote big boss of the dungeon, the town is like, oh, if this dungeon is now safe, we're going to open up the next dungeon and hopefully they'll take out the next boss and stuff like that. I gotcha. And then you just go, and then each, uh, each boss, the, if I remember correctly, the fifth dungeon opens because each boss holds a key, uh, there's four keys to the last dungeon, and each boss holds one of those. So that's why, like, the fifth dungeon opens. From a story standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we stop getting me into the little guy's crust? <laughs> Frustration. What do you have to say? So, I was attacked by a mo Okay, gotcha. I already forgot this one. <laughs> Need those. I'm gonna heal. I'm actually, very glad that I healed because I didn't realize that the heals only give you 40 health. I haven't been paying necessarily paying attention to that. I should have gotten hit by him at least once, just an FYI. That is once again my luck working for me. fast the speedrun for this game is. I feel like I ask that every, or I think of that every time we play a game. Like, what's the speedrun time for this game? And how bad am I going to be in comparison to it? It's very, the answers vary. Someone probably, like, somehow beats this game. So I'm learning I got very unlucky the first two times I fought that guy, because that, the first two times I fought that guy, he was powered up. Ah. Like, which I think is a chance. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds like my yeah. Alright. Floor two. Ow. Great start. Thank you. 
content, like, understand why He's, this guy's stuck. I'm done here, buddy. Yeah, I meant, like, hit the thing, please. Okay, bye. Come on. You can do it. Ole. There we go. Make me fight for that one. Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, okay, so... Oh, we got a training spear, I just realized, for free. That was not what I meant to do. Go ahead. Oh, no, I see why it does that. Alright, uh, we're gonna unlock this. See what this has for me. Oh, okay. Easy, then. Uh, actually, is it easy? It's gonna be the same stack anyway. Now, if I do this, though, then I can go ahead and put this here. And then bring most of this back with me. Alright. Uh... And we'll get rid of these. Also, yeah, you can... Is there, like, a quick... Quick sell? I don't think there is. There we go. Uh, and then I kind of want to test out the spear. I don't think I do. Yeah, no, it's mainly like fabric and foundry rust, which I just realized we've got no fabric. Alright, uh, sure. Yeah, these are only selling for six. Let's head. I have a full inventory. Let's head back. Actually, you know, start abiding by my own rules. <laughs> Mainly out of fear. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna drop some stuff off here. Uh, mainly after rest. We have the iron bars, we have these. Okay, so everything else can be thrown into here, including the broom. <laughs> Sir, can I make the gloves? I can make the gloves, and I feel like that would that is 
So how much is this? Okay, the... So I still need whatever that bottom thing is, but we'll at least have the start. Yeah, we'll make this. You know, I'm actually... What did we say? We, were, we said we were going for this, because like, I wishlisted it. Which is interesting, because I could also... If I got enough money, I would actually be able to make the uh, top gloves first. I, if, you, if you want to, go for it. If you, like, you want to see what those do. I need money. Money? <laughs> uh, well, the top gloves are just going to be more damage. So, is this one of those things where you have to pick a path, or are you able to... You have to pick a path. Okay, gotcha. That's... That makes sense, but kind of... Okay. No. Alright, so... I'm going to... Place these. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and put this into here. And it is now time to open up shop meaning that all this yoink alright so let me actually go ahead and place down things that I have sold oh I just realized I put gel in here for some reason I guess to be fair I think I just stacked it without really thinking uh, is there anything else? Uh, no, I think that's good. And then we got all that. Alright. Uh, bars, which I need to learn how much they're actually worth. Uh, and then we'll put down more crystals. And now let's see. This was... They were fine with buying it for 30. 110 is like the best price for those. Uh, not three. We'll do 350. And actually what I'm thinking is that we might want to upgrade uh, the shop as well if we get enough money today. Because then you can upgrade, upgrade the shop. I haven't shown that off yet, but you can do, do so. Alright. Uh, you bought that. I think we had these for the correct price. Uh, let's mark it up a little, just a tiny bit, see where we can get with those. Thank you. I mean, we've already made our investment back from the gloves, which is quite nice. Alright, 100... 10 is still good for those. Uh, you, 100 was fine. I'm gonna boost you up to 105. Yeah, we'll stick with 110 on those. It's fine. I have no idea, uh, and these I have no idea, so this one I'll boost up to 200. Oh wait, actually I forget, uh, I forgot at least, this actually tells you what you want to like hit it over, so the white stone, once it should be slightly under 275. So we'll put it at 270, and then the water sphere uh, is cheaper than that. Uh, so it's about 110, we'll go for 105. I forgot that it actually shows you on like a scaling. So let me actually see here, a hardened steel is not 
worth more than 275 so let's put it at 280 i guess Uh, this water lamp, uh, can be, can these, okay, it's only a stack of five. It's weird because some of these can stack up to ten, some of these only stack up to five. Uh, two, sixty-five. Finally, I've sold the bars at, like, a good price. <laughs> it only took a while. Yep, so it's stone at a good price. I think we sold the wood at a good price last time. Yeah, it was 13. Alright. We have almost made it over 10,000 gold, actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and place you down now. You are between the iron bar, which 30 is a little too much. Water sphere hasn't been decided, so 35, I guess? Okay, water sphere 105. Uh, I yeah, I was about to say I definitely sold the undersold those. I realized my, my mistake, but I didn't want to like piss off the customer. <laughs> All right, so what are you? You are between two seventy and. All right, let's go for like two sixty then. Buy something or get out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, too much for the sword. We'll knock it down by 20. Uh, still working on the sword and that. So we'll put these down. Yeah, 110 was good for that. Alright. Did I sell the water lanterns for a good price? I did! Uh, 265... Mark it up by 5. Have 12,000 gold. Started this off with 1,000. Yep, 270 was still fine with that, cool. Uh, you... Oh, right, I forgot I got a gold volume. I completely squandered it. Uh, gold runes will do 320. Oh, I haven't sold those yet. Wait a minute. Uh, let's just throw the bar down. Okay, 320 is good for the gold runes. I need someone to take an interest in those, like, sword hilts, is what they look like. It's the issue. <laughs> Alright, and I also need to sell this. This is high up there. 
uh, 800. I don't know. Store's about to close in a second, though. They might not buy anything. Sorry, did you say something to me? No, I just said that the 800 was too, well, too low for that one. I just said that, uh, store's about to close, or actually did close. Oh, gotcha. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't actually... I wasn't actually ignoring you. Yeah, you're good. How much money? 13,651 that day. Mind you, that's all just from... This is the first dungeon. So now, do I want to purchase that guy? Okay, so I can actually afford to make a bunch of things. Hmm. Or buy a bunch of things. Uh, so this is 30 and 8. That's 30 and 8. That's 15 and 4. There's 6, 4, 3. I only can make one of these. Uh, I might as well just go for the one that's going to be most expensive at the moment, I think. And by most expensive, I mean, like, uh, materials-wise, they're all the same cost. But we finally have a piece of armor. That's nice. Uh, and then I wanted to upgrade our shop a bit. So, here's what I'm thinking. More money. <laughs> this useful cash register will entice customers to add an extra 10% tip when paying. We'll get that. Uh, and then do I want anything else? I... I don't actually think so. I think we're on storage space. Uh, I don't come back in the night. Or in the... Yeah, I don't come back in the night to sleep today. So I guess we'll just... How much actually is the next... Oh, we can't get the next register. I think we need to buy the uh, shop level one first. Alright. I was ready to go back to the dungeon probably for the last time tonight. Dungeon. Dungeon. Dungeon Fungeon? Dungeon has not been why. Fungeon. Why not? I've died how many times already today? I think three. Dungeon seems to be for Fungeon. First time I've ran into a mimic. Oh, I forgot to make potions call. Okay, I think we can stop reading these books. I think I'm just getting repeats at this rate.
how did it, how many times have I take damage for contact damage? Can I ask that? The answer is yes. I want to get what's up here, but I can't, and it sucks. Alright. We know where that is. It's always nice. This is where things get difficult, <laughs> slightly, because that's three items that would break other items. Had I not moved them into the correct positions. So I forgot these exist. Do I even bother going into there at the moment? Uh, what is there? It is part of the dungeon that acts like the next dungeon. Oh. Fine. Interesting. We'll go in. All of us. Ah, never mind. Do it. Well. That easy. We're already done. Oh, dang! No, yeah, that was quick. All right, what's over here? Oh God! you. I thought it was only a hundred. We're about to find out, I guess. It's 99. <laughs> All right. keep these two. These are the loot that we got from the dungeon. The, uh, dun part of the dungeon that took us to the next dungeon area. Honestly, you can just get thrown. I actually don't know how much you sold for it. You sold for a talent. Not, my, not the best decision, but you're less than this, so. Yeah, that's less. That's 105. You are somewhat expensive, I think. You actually could have been thrown away. And then I'll carry you. I 
not again. questions for that too so we're actually in better shape than we were earlier uh huh is there anything on here that i really don't need i don't really how much do you sell for you you can get some because i kind of want the lenses i think i think the lenses sold for a decent bit yeah 105 Did I read this one already? So, yep, alright. I think it might be stuck. Can I? I'm be honest, I did not expect that. <laughs> I guess. on an uh, order of what I consider the most dangerous. There we go. Uh, I'll get rid of you, I think. God, why? What I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna take this out. Quick move this. Quick move that. And then quick move this. I don't know why I just did that actually, because I can't stack these still. Hmm. Hmm. Can't tell I'm getting tired. Uh. Getting? Oh, that's weird. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing a decent job commentating. No, that's not what I meant. Wait. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Sorry. Do I keep going? I don't have any potions though, and I'm. Yeah, we'll do one. Oh.
Hey, buddy. Okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back. Uh, we'll do another day of selling. And then I think we'll... Wrap up... The stream for today. Because it's... We're, we're set... We're... I guess we're only seven minutes out because I started late, apparently. Alright, let's, uh... Let's actually go and uh, see what we can buy now. Probably our helmet would be mm -hmm. the best thing. Or the... this. And then... Uh, I should go ahead and favorite all of these. So we need six fabric. That's what we're missing for that. But... There we go. Hmm. Did I forget to... Yeah, I forgot to take these off. There we go. I want to get the shop upgrade. That is something I want to do. Which I feel like we would will be able to once we sell everything. Uh, I should probably have checked what I needed for the rest of the items. Give me a second. I also like that the uh, when you're talking the four uh, to the uh, blacksmith, you can hear the uh, penny hammer play with the music. Nice little detail. So six, four, and three. And then, okay, so six, six fabric, six fabric for uh, water spheres and three. Gotcha. All right, and I think uh, what I'm missing is the. Uh, okay, let, me, let me just open this. See, so, yeah, these I could take out. Uh, I could take out one of these, uh, and then these need to stay as well. Everything else can be sold. And I'm actually going to go ahead and move these out of here into here with broom. Open up the shop. I will also restock these with like multiples instead of just ones. Probably should do this that for this too. There we go. Okay. Get the bars out of the way first. this off of so we'll go down to 220 maybe okay water figures are fine 110 I will I'll stick for those okay 220 is even too much for these gotcha you know what let's just drastically put it to 130 I say drastically might not even be that drastic. Okay, they're not buying the bars at 30. Uh, we'll mark them down to 25. Really, 190 is still too much. Alright. 
170. Nope. Yeah, that's the worst. Really? 25 is still too much for this? Okay, what about 20? Put this back. Alright. Uh, these gold will increase to 330. These. Uh, let's just bump them up by 5. I forgot to put these in here. Okay, now this is 280. Uh, can I get by with 285? Oh, I also didn't want to. Hold on to these, I just realized. Whoops, there's a lot of things I messed up here. Oh, yeah, one ton's fine. So we'll drop... Oh, no. Right. Forgot that. These are extra. Alright. 100 was too much for that. Uh... If 170 was too much for this, I'm assuming this is like 150 then. Of course it was on high demand by one would then. Uh we'll mark this down to 160 so they have a better chance of buying it. price for that. You, on the other hand, I'm gonna mark you up to a thousand. Wow, a thousand is even too cheap for that. Uh, let's mark you up by like five. Okay, people are not going to buy the sword at 160. Get down to a 140 then. Alright, there we go. This is the last thing we have to sell, so... Alright, 120 was good for it being marked down, gotcha. Alright, everyone out! $12,451 for the day. It's good. Now, I want to go ahead and upgrade our shop to shop level 1, which is kind of funny that we start off uh, we start off with shop level 0, I guess. There we go. That's what you call a good job. Mm, doesn't seem like a big change. Well, beauty comes from within. So now we can place decorations down as well as items price prices are not stored in the notebook when their popularity is not neutral or the valuation comes from wealthy customers. 
Good to know. So yeah, now we have eight places to sell, which is quite nice. Now what I want to check... As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. If it's my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. The register is 20,000. Alright. <laughs> I think we gotta buy all of these uh, to get shop level two. So I'll buy all of them. I'll buy those two, and now we're broke again. <laughs> Which I realize it's not the greatest decision, but oh well. I realize it's not the greatest decision. It's fine because I can't buy potions now. Whoops. Uh, I technically can buy potions and then, like, sell stuff in my inventory when we're in the dungeon. Which I think I might do, but... Uh, I believe... That's gonna be it. I'm gonna assume that it saved after I sold everything, or after I bought stuff. Let's so, hope! Yep. Yeah, that just completely cut out the game. Okay, cool. I thought that said exit the main menu. <laughs> Alright. The main menu of the main menu is here. Yeah, technical difficulties, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but alright, yeah, no, that's going to be it for uh, Moonlighter. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we will be playing this game through to the end, so look forward to that. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, you guys take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. Alright. Bye-bye. Yeah.